thing, but that's actually, I have the same opinion as you on print. Like sometimes even when you do ask, they'll pretend they're going to bring it to you and then they'll just never bring it. And then by the time they bring your food, they know you're not going to want the bread. So then they'll be like, oh yeah, about, did you still want that bread? And I always say yes. <laughs> just to make a point out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you go with a kid, I feel like, you know, the kid needs bread. Yeah. I don't know, my kid definitely does. Well, like, I feel like they should put that order in the second you get there. Like, get bread to this table. I would agree. And it, normally, I could tell you from working in the industry, typically, mm -hmm. it's not an order thing. Like, you just kind of go back and grab it. Wow. That's some insider information that I never knew. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do they have it at Friendly's or only at Expectations? Definitely not at Friendly's. I don't think that they had. No, I, they had it in another restaurant I worked at. Okay. Um, and I, so I guess I can't speak for every place because I haven't worked at every place. But yeah. for the most part, where they have served bread, you've kind of just gone and grabbed it and then wow. delivered it. <laughs> I guess, like, I'm picturing, like, an Italian restaurant where they have that nice, like, white, crusty bread. Yeah. Or, like, Outback, where they have that delicious brown bread. Yeah. No, I love the Outback. I'll just say one more. <laughs> Macaroni Grill. Remember that bread? <laughs> Did we go there? Yeah. No, that bread is good, too. I'm trying to think of what really other... Good. I'm trying to think of what other... Oh, um, Cooper Hawk Winery. They have a pretzel bread that's really good. I'm a mm -hmm. member, no big deal. Although I don't know I, what that place is. Oh, it just so happens that there was one in Cincinnati and there's also one in Richmond. And it's like, okay. it, it's a, it's one of those like semi chains again. So it's not like a huge like BJ's? Chain. Yeah, I guess. Like there's not, okay. there's not like that many of them, but there, it is a chain, but they also make their own wine. So they make it like a wine mm -hmm. tasting room and stuff. And the food is really good. And their pretzel bread is really good. And there's only been one or two occasions there where they have not brought me my pretzel bread. And I've had, <laughs> to, I've had to ask for it. But yeah, it's good. I just haven't been there in a while now because um, I'm pregnant. So you can't really drink. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try that place. It's good. Now some places have like a variety of bread, like especially in Nashville, like there's a lot of like cornbread and like. You know, they'll give you like a basket and a few different types of bread. And you still have to ask for that a lot of the time. Really? Yeah, I guess. Even at a nicer restaurant. Yeah. The Cheesecake Factory is normally good about bringing bread. Right. Do you think it's because a lot of people don't eat carbs so much now and they like don't want to tempt you? Um, I don't think that they care about people's diets. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I... So I do know that a lot of times they won't bring out bread till after you or or they'll like try and wait till after you order this way then <laughs> to make sure that you don't fill up on bread. Oh, I thought you were going to say but... like, people come and get bread and leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't order as much. You won't order as much, but they right. never have that problem with me because normally, whenever I I normally sit down and order an appetizer right away. Yes. Like I just look quickly and I'm like, we're going to need this immediately. Same. Other, do you? I, how much? Like, do you hate when like a waiter? Like, I know no one likes this when they don't write things down. Or did you used to do that? Um, I typically would write things down unless it was like a super simple order. I don't mind it if it looks like, okay, so if I have like Betty at a diner that's been doing this her entire career, mm -hmm. I normally know that Betty's got it. But if I have like somebody that looks like, I don't know, let's just call him, I don't even know what name. What's like a stoner name? I'm envisioning like a stoner. Like, Tyler? I don't know. Yeah, I guess Tyler, Tyler the waiter. And he's he's got like, you know, like curly hair. Like yeah. I'm not sure when he washed it last. Yeah. And I don't want he's him. just like, <laughs> he's staring into space as I'm telling him my order, but not writing it down. Yeah. That concerns me. Okay. See, I don't like it in general because I always change up my meals. Is that annoying? Um, I mean, I guess it, I guess it can be if they're, if it's like, I don't know, like it never really bothered me unless it was, you know, what I know what would bother me when I was a waitress, when somebody would order, say like a Coke and a water, and then the entire table is like, you know what, we're all going to have waters too. But then the only person that drinks the water is the person that originally 
order the water. I feel like I'm learning so much. <laughs> I feel like that was more annoying than somebody changing their order. Because as long as you could like substitute things, it's really not that big of a deal. It's like a computer system. Okay. I feel like this is just a Q&A with a former server. <laughs> I'm glad I have the insight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, why can't it, is it annoying to fill a water? Because I do find that people get very annoyed about water consumption. If you're consuming it, it's not that big of a right. deal. I think right. it's okay. it's annoying. Like I'm normally not. I normally wouldn't be annoyed till after the fact when I saw that the other people didn't drink their water. So you will like examine their water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's annoying when they're like, I'll have lemon, and one person says, Oh, no lemon for me, and no ice, and. Or is that just all um yeah that would i mean that could be annoying it just i think it also depends on how busy you are too like anything yeah. else if you're super busy and somebody is like you're ordering then you have to get the double the amount of drinks and that's like twice as much like hairy way more room for error and spills i'll tell you that much yeah, a lot of error and spills <laughs> but yeah i mean I think it's just like i think it's just another people are like oh we'll have one of those too and then nobody drinks it and then they're like emptying the water. I don't, it's just, it, I can tell you that I think that most servers would agree that people that order the water and don't drink it, it are some of the most annoying people. Is that because it's annoying to like carry beverages? Yeah. And like fill up okay. the water glasses. It's just like time consuming for nothing. Well, so sometimes I drink a lot of water and sometimes I end up having to drink someone else's water. So I find it helpful when someone else has water, but they don't drink it. No. Well, I mean, I guess that works out in your favor. <laughs> but, I, but I'm but i also going to say that, like, I normally will order a water and another drink. So Right. I don't order other drinks. But that's because I'll... But what if you're getting, like, a glass of wine or something? Yeah, yeah. No, alcohol. But not, like, I don't drink, like, soda. Oh. Well, I, I think that that's what I'm mainly talking about. Yeah. But, yeah, no. Because normally I'll get, like, the water and then whatever the... And I guess it's different, too, because it's more annoying if somebody orders a soda or a juice. I don't... Like, a juice and a water's fine, too. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> I'm so far out of that world. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go get on reddit to ask current waiters about their situation i think that they would agree i just i don't have any recent examples <laughs> yeah i guess that makes sense actually i do have recent examples it's like when madeline wants like she needs a cup of water then she needs a juice then she needs a milk and it's like all right well you're not gonna drink this many beverages yeah but i just think they should kind of when they see a kid obviously you're not taking kid to like the world's most fancy establishment. <laughs> I think they should be prepared for like, oh, the skin might want milk or like, you know, just anticipate your needs. Oh, I mean, I was talking about at my house. I don't care. Oh, we oh <laughs> yeah. When you're working at home as like a short order. Yes. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. About, I don't care about the waiter or waitress <laughs> getting yeah. extra milk. I care about myself. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so sorry, that was a tangent. But <laughs> obviously, I feel very strongly about it. I'm learning so much, though. Because I know I'm annoying, but I feel like I'm very apologetic about it at a restaurant. Well, that's fine. I feel like the worst people are the people that don't... It, what it comes down to, I think, is if there's people that are annoying, but they're not self-aware, but then also mm -hmm. don't tip. I think that that's like the trifecta. Yeah, right. Well, I tip, but I, I also like to preface everything with, okay, this is going to be annoying because I feel like I always think that my own personal food tastes are like better than like the chef, you know, who, who created like a salad. I always think it's that I have a better, better sense of taste than them. So I always I have to change everything. Have they ever agreed with you? Has anybody ever come out and said, you know what, we're going to permanently make it that way? I don't know. Maybe they have. Who knows? But no, they can name it after me. <laughs> no, no, I don't think that's ever happened. Or like, I want to know if I can get like fries instead of like some other kind of side, but it doesn't really offer fries. Oh, I asked that as well. One of the biggest issues that I have is I, I'm big into condiments and mm -hmm. uh, I really like having like my ranch or say I need a honey mustard. And when they, well, ranch is normally my big one. When they don't bring me my ranch and then like, oh, and I'm like staying there just waiting. It happened this past weekend and I was 
very nice about it because they were busy. But I had this whole basket of tater tots and no ranch. That's terrible. Yeah. And then it just gets <laughs> cold. <laughs> I was like, that's terrible. It's one, of the big, tragic. it's one of the biggest first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> So it's definitely a first world problem, but I understand. I actually don't like condiments. I like ranch, but, you know, I don't like salad dressing, so I always have to ask for none. Wait, so what do you eat on your salads? Like a little oil, maybe, or just, like, I like a salad that has a lot of stuff in it, like cheese and, like, avocado, so it doesn't need dressing. Will you eat, like, balsamic vinaigrette? No. Uh-uh. Definitely not. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm very particular. So am I, like, a nightmare? customer no i mean it'd be easier to not get somebody's salad dressing i mean that's one less step i hate when they're sometimes like oh that's not possible like why is that not possible that annoys me too when it's like no modifications especially when there's very there's like ingredients that are very like i don't like blue cheese but i like every other type of cheese yeah and when there's something with blue cheese and they're like, there's no modifications, I'm like, okay, well, now that's not an option because it's all going to have the blue cheese taste all over it. Right. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like blue cheese is not something that everyone likes. I agree. I So I think that what's funny about it, too, is that I feel like I'm very understanding of, like, servers when I'm out mm-hmm. at restaurants and stuff. But at the same time, like, if they suck, I'm just like, oh, why are you the worst person? You know what I mean? Like, I'm even, yeah. I feel like I might be even more critical. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, that makes sense. You know how it is. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I make a point of being very nice. You know, they always say like people who are not rich, like always like tip more, you know? I didn't know that was a common thing, but oh. I mean, I guess I, well, I don't know. Like there's, there's just good tippers and there's bad tippers. Right. I don't know. I, I will say that I also like the when people, there's like the mindset that if you, when you're out with people and if say it's like a date or something and if they treat the wait staff bad, mm-hmm. that that's indicative of their personality and how they treat others around them. And I would agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Can we also talk about like one of the most annoying things, which is like bill splitting first twofold. Mm-hmm. One part being like how a lot some places won't let you do it, or like how they make how awkward it feels. Uh-huh. Yeah, you get that a lot. I feel like that I used to, but I feel like there's been a turn in the more recent past to where mm-hmm. people are are most establishments are better about it. So I don't know if like technology has become easier, or I feel like I haven't had it lately where it's been as much of an issue, but I have had it where they're like, we don't split checks or we can only do it this way. And it, that is very annoying. Well, you know, in New York, like they never split it or like in that whole area. So I, whenever like I would travel and they would ask, I mean, usually I would only travel like with babes. So they didn't <laughs> usually ask, but when I moved here and they ask every single time, like, are you going to split it? I actually realize it's more, it's like almost, it's nice that they can do that, but sometimes it's super awkward. Like when when you go with someone where you're like, not sure if you're splitting it, you know what I mean? And then everyone's like, oh, uh, separate, separate. I don't know. It just makes me super awkward. Yeah. I guess that's a good point as well. And I I guess I didn't even realize in New York that they won't do that. I mean, you, you have to ask. It's not like a widespread practice. Like they make it like you're like being so annoying to them. Yeah, and I guess it is somewhat regional how they ask, like, how, or the, also the type of restaurant, like, how are we doing the check or whatever. I feel like a nicer restaurant, they don't necessarily ask because they just assume that you'll figure it out. Here, they'll ask everywhere. Really? Maybe because it's a lot of bachelorette parties. I don't know. It's just, like, their thing, you know, but they'll ask everywhere. That sounds like a nightmare being... Right, if there's, like... 14 different girls and each one is paying separate and then they're like oh but we're gonna split hers mm-hmm. that's a nightmare yeah and actually i realized that there is a new so i had googled like dining dilemmas and mm-hmm. there's the age old it turns out dilemma that's an official like wikipedia let me see what it's called <laughs> hold on yeah the official di- unscrupulous how do you say that word unscrupulous diner dilemma yeah. 
Um, so I didn't know this was official thing, but this is an issue. And really what it has, it's it's, according to Wikipedia. Yeah. Well, and Wake Forest, and it looks like there's other things. But in 